are in the garage again today. We are going to be doing some work to the S2000. We got a few new parts in for it. So um, stay tuned and we'll show you everything that we've done. Fancy Motion Race Works shifter. Um, steering wheel, we just I just quick mocked all this together. I'm gonna get a different steering wheel, but I wanted to see how this would work before I uh, order one and everything, and I'm not exactly happy with it. So I'm gonna change this up. But other than that, we got our Holly dash mounted in there. Uh, just two quick pieces of metal in, and it went in a lot faster than I thought. I'm gonna take the metal out, paint it black, put it all back together. Uh, the cluster is not really exactly fitting right so I think I got it all a little tight in here so I'm gonna loosen it up try to get it fit tight and in there a little bit nicer um, but overall I am extremely happy and excited with how good this looks hopefully the dash only has to come out one more time uh, finish up the last wiring of that under there get the wires ran to where I want it for all the buttons and get the screen wired up and uh, run the data cables and all that, and we should be good. We also got my shifter mounted. We got the Motion Raceworks shifter, and it is actually, I am really impressed with it, and I am excited to try it out. And it fits nicely. We had to cut a little bit out, but I still think it looks pretty good in here, and tried to make it as tight to the dash as I could, and something so it's comfortable for me to shift and drive the car down the track at the same time. And as we can see, in theory, I'll just be a mm -mm, and we're good. Uh, up here we'll have all of our controls for fans, main ignition, starter, uh, water pump, I'm not going to run anything like that through the Holly because it's just Terminator X. I want to use that for everything else. Uh, right here on the switch panel that we got off of an Amazon special, we can have all of our turn signals lights as you guys can see, and uh, they'll be nice. Um, right here, when we made the relay panel, I made it so I just have to take off the airbag cover and we can get uh, all my relays and fuses if something goes wrong, which it shouldn't. It'll be right there. Let's get Fatty out of here. <laughs> You're not fat. Oh. Alright, I'm going to steal the phone now. <laughs> so, as you guys have seen, we got the fuel cell battery in. I think we showed you guys that before. But that's all in now. Underneath the trans fan, trans cooler. I got the lines quick ran for that. We did get our training mount in. Oh, I got a new door also. New door from Junkyard, a little bit cleaner than the old one. But uh, looks good, be wrapped. Bought a training mount from X Performance, but I wasn't quite sure if it would work or not with how the motor's set up because the guy before me just kind of put it in there so the motor was far as back as possible, but it actually lines up and works pretty nice. And it's a good looking tranny mount. I'll paint that when we get it all out and change it when I pull the tranny again. 
And then with the tranny mount, I was able to start on the motor plate, get it on there just quickly, and uh, see if what I'm moving the tabs and all that stuff. But yeah, we're coming right, right along on it. And just coming here to get stuff in. Next thing on my order list is gonna be all the fuel lines and fuel fittings and all that stuff. Fuel pumps I already have, and I have some fittings, but we'll get all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there's the fuel pumps hanging out there along with the nitrous kit that we don't need. Now the motor's where we know it is too. There's so much room for activities right here. And I'm sure this is gonna get filled up quickly, but I'm thinking just a simple air-to-air -air intercooler, just a stand-up radiator, something different than what I was planning to begin with, and I believe the turbos will fit right in this area also. And that will give me plenty of room to do whatever we want and have fun with it. But I think this thing will be a blast. Hopefully it's not a wheelie machine. Just keep going and knock some stuff out. Thanks for watching. We'll do some more update videos on this as I get more progress done, but uh, we'll see you guys next time.